Hannah Ferreira in Buffalo, where neighbors are voicing their concerns about the Kensington Expressway project. There is a nationwide highway removal movement underway. Why not here in Buffalo, New York? Drivers on the Humboldt Parkway on Saturday may have seen this, a rally against the Kensington Expressway project. Sherry Sherrill is one of many neighborhood residents who believe there are better solutions than the $1 billion project which would include the addition of a tunnel with walkable green space above. The time to do the correct approach, the time to offer the correct design is here and it is now. And this group believes the correct approach involves removing the expressway altogether while restoring the parkway's tree-lined canopy. This is all in hopes of reversing the actions made decades ago when the 33 divided an east side community. We have family history from back when my grandfather was alive before the parkway was put in, so I always grew up hearing the stories about what happened. It's bizarre how literally it's happening the exact same way again. The residents behind me have been standing at the corner of East Ferry Street and Humboldt Parkway, chanting, cheering, and even going up to cars and talking to them about their frustrations. Our opinion counts. The funding that the New York State Department of Transportation brought towards the Kensington Expressway is made possible by the economically disadvantaged black and brown residents of East Buffalo. Neighbors tell me they want to take advantage of potential green space, a luxury in an American city. This is a, a chance for Buffalo in this era to reclaim acres of land in the middle of the city. We're the second largest city in the state, and all of a sudden we'd have land freed up that could be developed all kinds of ways. While construction on this project could start later this year, Cheryl says the opposition will continue. This is just the beginning. The people will not be silenced. The community's voice will be heard. Hannah Ferreira, 7 News, Buffalo.